So something that's been on my mind is um, whether or not to use a pen name when I publish. And I'm for sure I think I'm going the indie publishing route, but um, I'm not sure if I want to use a pen name or not. And um, I've actually been going back and forth on that. I thought I was for sure using gonna use a pen name when I published but now that I think about it um, I think maybe I wouldn't mind like the criticism so I'm the type of person who thinks if your book is crappy then readers are entitled to their opinions readers are entitled to leave a negative review and they're also entitled to create a rant review video if they want on the other hand, as a writer, I would be scared shitless if I saw my book on the thumbnail of an AuthorTube rant review video. Because I know AuthorTubers tend to look at AuthorTube written books a little more closely than they usually do. And that's not true for every channel, but usually AuthorTuber books are looked at with more scrutiny. A pen name would provide the anonymity you want, but on the other hand, you wouldn't be able to market your book as well, I feel like, especially for indie authors. Um, the indie authors that I've seen have used their real face in their real name, and to promote their own book, they have to do that because, you know, the author is the brand nowadays, so it's almost impossible to... Um, avoid social media is almost impossible to be anonymous. Honestly, I don't think the criticism of my book would be that bad. But that might just be my wishful thinking. I think the book is good, but that might just be because I wrote it. To summarize my dilemma, I am proud of my book and I want to put my name on it. At the same time, I am deeply terrified of author tube rant review videos. At the same time, I think readers should be able to express their opinions, especially if it's a crappy book. And if my book is crappy, I want them to express their opinion. I don't know, guys. I don't know which route I'm going to take. And part of the reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to share more of my writing with you guys, but if I write under a pen name, I really can't do that. So, I don't know. Let's just leave it there. Hey guys, just wanted to pop in with a quick line edit. Um, I was having trouble with this part of my novel. It's a really important scene, but um, it took me about two hours to figure it out and I had to think about it overnight. But um, so for context, by the way, this is my um, line editing process. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. So this is just my general like line editing process uh, if you guys want to use it, but um, so for context, character there's a character C and he's making kind of insidious remarks to character B who is already exhausted from um, some earlier events. So I wanted to show his exhaustion, um, but I was having trouble with kind of getting how like how how much this is affecting him, how much character C's comment is affecting character B. So the original read, um, cold sweat dripped down Blank's back. His muscles had gone limp from earlier. He didn't have the energy left in him to push back. He tasted a light hint of stomach bile in his mouth. And that last line turned to a caustic hint of bile, and then I couldn't think of the word, um, so I thought something like mist. I wanted to like, like gas, um, so I thought eroded, but that wasn't right. 
and so I just settled on a caustic hint of bile coated his tongue. And then that actually changed into something better. Um, so in the end, this is the, the scene. Blank, character B whipped his head around. He stopped himself before he could beg character C to stop. Uh, I'll think, have to think of another word for stop. Um, each, each word out of character C's mouth was like, an ounce, was like an ounce of neurotoxin entering his bloodstream. His limbs and muscles became limp and a caustic swash of gastric acid soured the back of his throat. Without the energy to fight back and shaky composure, he answered. Um, so that's closer to kind of the feeling that I want from the scene, um, kind of the exhaustion and kind of um, just how character B feels. I know parts of it sound a little um, too maybe technical. The jargon is a little technical, but it actually fits with this character and in context it fits. So out of context, it might sound a little too technical, a little too scientific, but in context, um, this character is very science driven and science based. So he would be the kind of person who uses this kind of jargon. All right, guys, that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe for more content. It really helps me out in the algorithm. Um, this was my first writing vlog, so it's a bit chaotic. Um, there was a lot of stuff, but it was a lot of fun to shoot. And um, I think I will incorporate writing vlogs into my videos in the future. I'll try not to do the same thing over and over again because I know that can get a little repetitive. So, um, I'll try to do that, but um, yeah, it's a lot more flexible than other styles like advice videos or um, line editing videos. And I can still incorporate line editing into this, but you know, 